Yo, we just got to this crazy park. This park reminds me of all the parks that I grew up skating as a kid. All the Bull Series parks. I just can't believe it. Like, to find this out here, I'm gonna show you some tricks that will be best utilized in a park like this. No better authority. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, we got the, this is like, this is where you do bonelesses and all the foot plant tricks and it makes the most sense. Tail blocks, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna warm up, do some pumping, do some stretching, do some pumping, do some stretching, and we'll get at it. Uh. And Uzi is skating flat ground in the middle of the Bowl Skate Park. Oh, he did it. This park reminds you of your home park. Yeah, 100%. I have oh, a park dude. like this in Australia too. It's called Bullying Ball. Can I get a shout out for Bullying Ball? If you like old school Bullying Ball pre-renovations, let me know. This reminds me of a mixture of China Creek and my home park, White Rock. Like, if you want to hit something specific, then you just drop in from that spot and see where it takes you and then you hit it backwards. I love parks like this because they totally change the kind of tricks that you start doing. Like you'll see these guys do old school tricks because the bowl facilitates that and it makes you think, how did we further skateboarding past old school stuff when we only had old school stuff? But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, Rick. I learned nose blunts on lips just like this. Steep that is right there. Yeah. It's like the steepest part of the whole bowl. So That's what's with these old bowls is they're different every inch. You know, it's different transition. You got to learn the bowl. Oh, my favorite uh, age in skateboarding was right when the nose of the board got invented. And it was like right after the Ollie was invented, but not everybody could do it. 88, 89, 90, it was a really short era. And that's where all of my favorite tricks were invented. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Good grief. Oh! Yes, Mowgli. Woo!